guys, Sherry Fox here with What The Fox. And how many of you have some blinds in your home that look kind of like this? You have all these extra slats down here at the bottom. You, you've gone to your hardware store and you found your width or you had them cut your width. But unfortunately, to get the length that we need, you end up having to get this longer. Because we want our blinds longer, we don't want them shorter. So then we hang them and we just have all these extra slats. So what are we gonna do? Well. I'm gonna show you how to fix this, really easy. The first thing I did was let the blind down completely and allow slack. And since we have such a large window sill, I just pushed the blinds back up so that we could have a clear view of the underneath of the bottom rail and expose the three plastic buttons located on the bottom. You can use a flathead screwdriver or just anything that will get up underneath these plastic buttons to be able to pop them out. But you want to save these, do not discard. Some of your buttons are going to have a string or a pulley in them. Simply push the pulley through to expose the knot. Snip it off the end to remove the plastic button. Once we have all of our buttons removed, we'll slide the bottom rail out and set it aside. And then you will just slide each slat out one at a time until you can reach your desired length. Once I reach my desired length, I just place the bottom rail back into the windowsill to double check. Once the slats have been removed, if you'll notice, the string kind of looks like a ladder. We're going to cut these. I like to count down about three or four ladders, and then you're just gonna cut it straight across. You will also cut the pulley cord. I usually leave this about the same length as I do the ladders. You can burn the ends of your pulley cords to keep them from fraying out. Mm -hmm. On the two sides that have the pulley cords, you want to make sure the pulley cord is through the center of the bottom slat because sometimes that can pull out when you're sliding your slats out. So just make sure and double check those. Now take a look at your bottom rail. You're going to see little holes on one side and you'll see the larger holes on the other side where we removed the plastic buttons. The little holes are where we are going to insert the pulley cord until it passes through to the other side. Now take a look at your plastic button. You will see that one side protrudes while the other side is flush. The side that protrudes is the side that will be inserted back into the bottom rail. You will simply thread your pulley cord through that side and then tie a knot or two to secure it. And then trim the excess off. Repeat this for all pulleys that you have. You'll notice some small strings that create this ladder. We're going to remove these, but do not remove the string that is holding the bottom slat. You only want to remove the ones that are not holding a slat. and you'll simply repeat this for the other ladders. And then we will take the two sides of our ladder and tie them in a couple of knots. 
just make sure that your knots are going to be at the bottom and not on the side. You'll notice on your plastic buttons, there'll be two grooves on either side. We will simply push our knots up into the holes. Use a screwdriver to make it a little easier, but then we will take our plastic buttons and we will line the grooves with the strings and then just push firmly until the button is flush with the rail. And now we'll just repeat this for the other ladders. If the buttons on the pulleys pop themselves in, that's okay, just grab a screwdriver and pop them back out. I had a little more excess on my knot than I wanted, so I trimmed it up and burnt the end to keep it from fraying. On my last one, I pushed a little more of the ladder than I wanted inside of the hole, and it wouldn't allow the bottom rail to lay flush on the window sill. If this happens, just pop the plastic button back out and readjust your ladder. After shortening the blind, your tassel length should be okay, but if for some reason it isn't, just push the string through, snip the knot, and retie it at your desired length. Now we have a blind that fits our window, and it's just that easy, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video today, or at least found it useful. If so, don't forget to subscribe. There's a little button right here. There's another one right there. But don't forget, when you hit this little button, ring the bell. That way, when I upload new videos, you'll be the first to know. This is Sherry saying you guys can easily do this. Thanks again, guys, for tuning in to What The Fox. Until next time, take care.